Okay guys, it's time for my top 10 about the debut albums. Um, so I thought a lot about it and you asked me uh, many times. I changed a lot of times the order and I changed the order even you know 10 minutes ago because I was you know when doing this chart is is very difficult because you have to compromise between your taste and what is more important. 10 minutes ago I said forget about the importance just make your choices and okay that's what I'm gonna do so let's start for from position number 10 the Court of the Cream in the Court of the Crimson King only five songs by King Crimson is a hell of an album uh, 21st century schizoid man I talk to the wind the Court of the Cream Crimson King amazing amazing title track this one is from the 70s no 69 this one is a spectacular album so if you don't know it go and check it out Position number 9, first album by Angra, Andre Matos left us, unfortunately, there is a young Kiko Lureiro, uh, now um, guitar player for Megadeth, this one has got lots of great songs, if you like the, it's in between power, uh, prog, symphonic, it's in between lo lots of things, but you get carry on time, Angels Cry, this is Angels Cry, sorry, maybe I forgot the title, uh, this one is very enjoyable, amazing vocals, amazing guitars, these guys are beasts, and this is my favorite album by Angra. Debut album from Skid Row, this is the self-titled this one is really short and sweet. You got amazing ballads, 18 in life, I remember you, a young Sebastian Bach. If you like hard rock, like from the 80s, this is a perfect debut, very simple. Maybe the band, the band will get better uh, with the time with the second album to me, but this one is, apart from the uh, ballad that I mentioned, there is Sweet Little Sister, Piece of Me, uh, Youth Gone Wild, the hymn of the band, Here I Am, this one is a hell of an album. Debut album from Van Halen, this one is another great album, same, you know, same stuff, but way older than this one, this one is 78, so almost 10 years before, very inspirational. We're talking about love, I'm the one, uh, Ice Cream Man, I'm on fire, Eruption, top album. Debut album from Iron Maiden. This one is the first album. There is Paul Diano. The sound is not great, but you can see here, you can hear the potential of the band. Phantom of the Opera is still a masterpiece. Transylvania, Iron Maiden, Remember Tomorrow. There are great songs. It's a very good business card if you want to start a business. This one is a good one. Down, super band with um, Phil Anselmo, Pepper Keenan. Uh, you know, maybe you can read them instead of maybe you can't anyway this album is a masterpiece this is an amazing combination of few bands uh, pantera corrosion of conformity and crowbar and they mix and they blend perfectly together lifer underneath everything eyes of the south stone the crow uh, losing all they are all great songs if you like phil anselmo and the bands that i mentioned this is a masterpiece it shouldn't be my kind of music I, I do love those bands but the blend of this one for me is sort of a miracle this one is spectacular down nola my favorite power metal album of all time together with uh, the keeper of the seven keys part two so this one is a young to be a summit and with lots of guests including uh, members of Halloween uh, of the Keeper of the Seven Kiss 2, there is Michael Kiske, there is uh, Marcus Groskov on bass uh, from Halloween, Kay Jansen, Andre Matos from Angra, Rob Rock, David DeFace, Oliver Hartman, uh, Timo Tolki as the voice in the tower as we discussed with Timo during the interview. This one is a perfect metal album, this is the metal opera. For this position I was in between first Black Sabbath and the first uh, Ozzy Osbourne's but just because I have here the Ozzy Osbourne copy and not the Black Sabbath I decided for this. I, I didn't want to put two titles with the Ozzy Osbourne so I chose Blizzard of Odds. So after leaving Black Sabbath you know they weren't in a good place and he present himself again to the 
public with this masterpiece and a great 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 guitar player like Randy Rhodes and all the hits of uh, Ozzy are here uh, and in the second one I don't know Crazy Train, Goodbye to Romance, Suicide Solution, Mr. Crowley, uh, Revelations, Noble Movies but th this one is a perfect debut album you can do better than this again I prefer his second one but this one is like what can you say it's perfect album bleeds a dub off with a, even a good very good cover yeah yeah second position for Pearl Jam 10 I didn't like it that much uh, at the time because uh, I was a kid a teenager kid and I was 13 and I uh, prefer Nirvana rather than Pearl Jam uh, it's, it's a good album good singer but you know it didn't get into my soul I don't know how to explain this and it got into my soul a few years later when I listen to them live and then okay let's go back to 10 and let's see how it goes maybe i wasn't ready for the band all the hits of the band are here and they are still forced kind of forced to play them live because you got alive black jeremy other good singles like uh, oceans or ones even flow this is not my favorite pearl gems but this one is almost perfect from start to finish there are no skip tracks all the songs are great usually I want to remove tracks from the albums this one 11 tracks they're all good they are all great so from start to finish this is the best per jam for me number one appetite for destruction this is just the perfect hard rock album this is the first edition lately we got you know the 25 25th anniversary the 30th anniversary 31st anniversary this one is you know, I bought it in the 90s and I never understood why Welcome to the Jungle is written here in red. If you have an explanation for this, or maybe it's just the, the, the printing was wrong, you let me know if you know more about this. But apart from that, when you have Welcome to the Jungle, Night Train, Paradise City, Switch of the Mind, uh, Rocket Queen, It's So Easy, Mr. Brownson, this is perfect in terms of attitude sound so the, the guns were guns and roses were like this you know street they weren't pretending to be like this they were like this they were sleeping uh, you know in the streets in the cars and they were like this and you can hear everything uh, through these notes there are street guys this one is a street rock album hard rock with a perfect sound and even with a, a superb uh, cd cover so it's a perfect album and to me this is my favorite debut album of all time so you let me know guys what you think i know that i missed so many records when i put the list uh, i don't know maybe 50 great 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 albums but you know i have to cut down to 10 so uh, this is my uh, personal choice so you let me know what you think guys uh, subscribe to the channel like the video if you liked it and you know let's talk about music as always so write a comment down below that's it guys rock and roll